Hey everybody, final thoughts, time for the Margraves of Valeria, but before I get to that, please remember, like I said right up front, this was a paid preview that I have put together for the publishers of Margraves of Valeria, which is on Kickstarter right now. So please bear in mind, before I get to Jen's and my subjective opinion about the game, what our response was playing, remember, I'm getting paid to do this, so you might want to take my personal thoughts and opinions with a grain of salt. Or even better, go watch the run-through and use that to determine whether the game Gameplay looks like fun uh, because I, I'm just one data point, but I have been paid to be here. So, with that a caveat out of the way, what do we think? Boom! The Valeria series continues to deliver. This is a very fun, fast playing game. It really evokes a lot of the feeling of the previous games and um, delivers on, I think, what has become the signature element of the design of a Valeria game, which is your turn is very simple. Um, you just play a card, or spend a couple of action points, or roll some dice. Couldn't seem to be simpler, and yet, by the time your turn is over, um, as often as not, it has resulted in such an awesome, huge, satisfying chain of events, comboing all kinds of stuff together, and you just do this over and over and over again. And it is perpetually satisfying to be able to do all these big things. This time they do it by multi-use cards, one of my favorite mechanisms of all time. Hey, I can use them for this combination of effects, or this combination of effects, or play it down to do two completely different actions. But one of the key elements of this game is, as often as not, the effects you trigger with this card will have either your Margrave or the Knights of the Round world moving all over from and therefore basically working like uh, working like workers in a worker placement game and activating other actions they can chain into other actions and it's awesome uh so much fun very very quick very snappy it's not a particularly long game it does not take that long to race to get to where you can build your fourth tower or what have you but every step of the way it is full of big cool moves like how could we ever beat that monster when are we ever going to get that much strength and the next thing you know oh my gosh in three turns i got that much strength because of all these combo things that um you know uh, and, and with really clever stuff like i said the worker placement notion of hey i moved into this town i activated that town and then as soon as I got here, I sent this knight away to go back to the town that I just came from, so I got to activate it a second time. You know, that is very, very cool, but um, I really, really like this uh, combat notion of the uh, if you use your own personal strength in uh, combat, that's fine, but you'd much rather deploy these knights because their death can uh, lead to nice little combo bonuses as well uh, in this nice little kind of jigsaw puzzle of a mini game that's off to the side but it's all in um, pursuit of victory points that come from getting in good with the guilds and of course getting in good with the guilds working your way up so that your guild members will have more victory points at the end of the game triggers more combo change because as you cross lines you get more tokens that you can use immediately to do even more stuff see you may notice there is kind of a repeating motif here. Having simple turns that just lead to chain after chain after chain of event so that you feel like you're always doing big cool stuff. Even on a weak turn. Like, ah, oh, I finally gotta call all my cards back to my hand. Even that's a cool opportunity to be able to hire somebody new that's gonna be worth more points and give you access to more cool powers because there are a ton of cool variations on the different kind of characters you can get. Never mind the fact. I mean, don't be fooled by the White Album prototype cover here. Of course, the art in all the Valeria games has always been gorgeous because it's always been from the Miko, and that continues here. Um, my wife does not necessarily follow game artists, so she doesn't know who's who, but when we sat down to play this for the first time, she was like, I said, oh my gosh, this looks gorgeous! Who did this? And I'm like, it's the Miko, honey. We say this every time we play one of his games, and it's true. Um, the, the, the wonderful use of color and... I mean, it, it feels like his art is in motion, even though it's static. You know, the the extreme exaggerated figures and characters and facial expressions, everything about this. Although, bear in mind, of course, these character boards, obviously these are prototype. I mean, everything you saw today was a prototype. Bear that in mind. I'm sure the box cover, although, actually, I, I mean... Maybe there's a Revolution number 9 joke to be had here. I don't know. But uh, the game looks great. The game plays great. Really, the only complaint I've had from Jen's and my time with it is there are three means. Oh, although I also forgot, like every Valeria game, the player aid is great. I should have shown it during. Uh, pretty much, this is a summary of the game, almost. And this is a summary of what all the icons mean. Almost everything you need to know right here. Because that's, again, a testament to just how smooth and elegant the core game is. But... Anyway, what was I just going to say? Oh, yeah, my one complaint. 
And I'm not sure if this is true, because I've actually asked the developers, and they said, well, they played it a lot more than me, so... You can win in one of three ways. Build three, or not win, trigger the end of the game. Um, build all four of your towers, empty out all the citizens, or empty out the tokens. It seems to me, in a two-player game, there are way too many of these tokens and way too few options to be able to clear them out. Yes, if you ship a ton... And if you're, I mean, but I, I don't know. It, it, when we had finished it, we have finished it off of towers. And you could see that, oh, we were almost done. We'd almost finished it based on hires as well. I could see how it could have gone that way. But we're a million miles away from clearing out all these tiles. Doesn't really matter. Um, one thing, uh, I guess could be a minor complaint, is with only two players, it is a bit more of a gamble to go for these banners, uh, which, you know, which will compound hugely. Uh, th um, you know, go from 1 to 4 to 9 to 16 to 25 points every time you get an additional unique one. That's cool, but it is a big gamble. Because, you know, not necessarily because other players will take it for you, because they just don't come out very often. Because, again, we're only playing a two-player game, and these don't come out as much as I'd like. Like I said, I asked the developers and they said, well, we haven't had that experience playing it in-house. And so I'm going to say, maybe it was just a little bit of groupthink with me and my wife, Jen. But even still, that's the worst thing I could come up with. And that's nothing. Because uh, the rest of this game is still so chock-a-block of just fun, compelling, satisfying, moment after moment after moment. It is very rare that you will not have a turn where you feel like, wow, I got a lot done that time. After, I mean, I mean even at the beginning, because they have that little drafting game so that everybody starts awash with resources so you can just, right out of the gate, start doing big, cool things um, with, you know, multi with, with these knights activating multiple towns at once. Wonderful stuff. Margraves of Valeria, we have enjoyed it quite a bit. And that folks is the paid preview and thanks so much for watching have a very very nice day talk to you later so long uh bye bye